In this video, I'm talking about determining the number of significant figures in a recorded value. This is one video in a series of videos about significant figures. By the end of this video, you should be able to look at a number written in either scientific notation or decimal, also called standard format, and determine which of those digits are significant, how many of them there are. The third part of this video is going to be practice problems. This video and all of my videos have timestamps down in the description that enable you to jump to a specific topic. So first let's go over the rules for determining the number of significant figures in a value written in scientific notation. I do have a full video about scientific notation if you need more information about it. But our one and only rule for scientific notation is any and all digits in the coefficient are significant. Coefficient is this number at the beginning. So in scientific notation, any and all digits in the coefficient are meaningful. So our first value, 3.178 times 10 to the minus 5. We are only looking at the coefficient. We have four digits in the coefficient. This value has four significant figures. Significant figures are often abbreviated sig figs. Our second value, 7.2 times 10 to the 84. Again, we are just looking at the coefficient. The seven and the two are the only digits in the coefficient. They are both significant. We have two significant figures. So decimal, also called standard format, there are more rules associated with this. First rule, any non-zero digit is significant. So in this value, 1.234, you do not see any zeros, you see four non-zero digits, all four of them are significant. This number has four significant figures. Rule number two, any zero between non-zero digits is significant. So in this value, 2007, we have a 2 at the beginning, a 7 at the end. These are both non-zero digits. The zeros in the middle are both between non-zero digits. That makes them significant. That means all four of these digits are significant. We once again have a number with four significant figures. Our third rule is zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant. In this value, 0 0.000218, these zeros to the left of our first non-zero digit, which is this two, these are all not significant. Our significant figures are the 2, the 1, and the 8. We have a total of three significant figures. Rule number four, zeros at the end of a number before an implied decimal place are not significant. So in this number, 1,200, I did not actually write a decimal place at the end. If I were to ask you where it would belong, if you don't see a decimal point, it belongs at the end of the number. However, you're going to need to pay very close attention to decimal points. 
without a decimal point actually written. That is an implied decimal point, and that would fall under rule number four. So zeros at the end of this number are not significant. The one and the two are significant. So this value has two significant figures. In rule number five, zeros at the end of a number with an actual decimal place are significant. So this value, 1,200, this time with a decimal point actually written at the end. This is an actual decimal point. This now falls under rule number five. All four of these digits are significant. This value has four significant figures. The next value, you see I have an actual decimal place in here as well. I also have more zeros appended to the end. All of these zeros at the end are significant because we have an actual decimal point. We have a written decimal point. That makes all of these digits significant. This value has seven significant figures. Now, I have a challenge for you. I want you to figure out how to write the number 1,200 with three significant figures. Without a decimal point at the end, it has two. With a decimal point at the end, it has four. write 1,200 with three significant figures. So this problem is tricky. If I write 1,200 with no decimal point at the end, those zeros at the end are not significant. So we only have the one and the two are significant. Without a decimal point, this has two significant figures. However, with a decimal point, 1,200 decimal point, we have an actual decimal point, which means that the zeros at the end are significant. This value now has four significant figures. In a case like this, if you want to write 1,200 with three significant figures, decimal format, also called standard format, is not going to work. You need to use scientific notation in a case like this. So our answer is 1.20 times 10 to the 3. We need three digits in the coefficient. So the rule for scientific notation, it was straightforward. Any and all digits in this coefficient are significant. So 1.20, all three of them are significant. We now have three significant figures. So the goal of this problem is to determine the number of significant figures in each value. So I have five values written. We first are going to need to identify which digits are significant, and then for each value, we just count the total. This is going to be important later on when you start calculating values and need to be able to round a calculated answer to the proper number of significant figures you are always going to need to be able to recognize which digits and how many of them were significant in the original numbers you started with. So problem A, 300 with an actual decimal point at the end. So the three is significant because it's a non-zero number. This decimal point at the end means that the zeros at the end are also significant. So this value, all three of these digits are significant. One, two, three. We have three significant figures. So problem B, 300 with no decimal point written at the end. That means it's an implied decimal point. The three is significant because it's a non-zero number. The zeros, they are not significant. 
we are missing that decimal point at the end. So this only has one significant figure. Only the three is significant. And counting the number of significant figures, we just have one. Problem C, 9.74 times 10 to the 97. Whenever you have a number in scientific notation, you are just looking at the coefficient. Any and all digits in the coefficient are significant. So the 9, the 7, and the 4 are all significant. So that is 1, 2, 3. Three digits are significant. We have three significant figures. Problem D, 3 times 10 to the minus 4th. This is once again a value in scientific notation. We are only looking at the coefficient. This 3 is significant. So we have one significant figure. Problem E, 320,000 with an actual decimal point at the end. So the 3 and the 2 are both significant because they are not zeros. This decimal point at the end says all of these zeros are also significant. So all of these digits are significant. Let's count the number of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six digits that are significant. We have six significant figures.